start warming up our upper body with our hip circles. So go ahead and have those hands on your hips. And then we're just going to nice and gently ease your body all the way around, kind of seeing how stiff or hopefully unstiff you are. Uh, just kind of assessing generally how we're feeling, getting some light, gentle movement all the way around. Nice and controlled. Go ahead and switch directions now. Same thing. Nice and easy. All the way around. Feel free to hang tight on any of those sticking points that feel a little extra tight today. Otherwise, just keep a nice consistent movement. Good. All right, go ahead and relax on that one. We'll move into some alternating leg extensions trying to actively focus on straightening our leg as much as we can. So getting it into that straight 180 degree angle, ideally trying to really squeeze those muscles, feeling that work throughout the entire time. Nice and controlled here. Nice and easy. Good. Go ahead and rest on there. We'll move to our core again, just a little warm up, nice and gentle. Reach down to the side, tap that ground. Reach the other side, tap that ground. When we're doing this one too, remember, try to sit up nice and tall throughout the entire movement. So I'm thinking about having a nice proud chest. I'm not hunching forward at all. And doing this will ensure that you're working properly through the muscles on the side of your core here. Reach, touch, reach, Touch. Let's do one more time each side. Good. And relax. Very nice. Okay. We are now reaching to the ground actively. So hands in the middle, legs spread far apart, reach down, touch that ground. And then we're going to stand up, sit up, I should say, nice and tall, all the way up to the sky. Get a good stretch. Feel those arms being pulled. Good. Four more times here, five in total, down, touch, up, big, far reach to the sky, very nice, down, touch, reach, stretch that arm, good, down, touch, up, big reach. One more time here. Let's stay down in this bottom position for three counts. Go as low as you can. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Sitting up nice and tall, reaching all the way up to the sky. Stretch those arms, stretch those hands, and relax. Very nice. Let's move into a nice trunk twist. So moving back to that lower back. I like keeping my hands kind of on my front, kind of forces us to keep that good posture position. Just going side to side here, getting some good, gentle movement, both directions here. Good. A couple more times on each side. Good. And relax, very nice. Our next warm-up drill we're going to do is a reverse hurdle. So this one involves imagining a hurdle or just an object to the side of your chair like so. And we are going to step up and over that hurdle, if you can imagine it being there, or a ball, a book, anything basically going up and over, side to side. And this will really open up your hips. This will open up uh, your lower back to some degree, it's kind of mobilizing just that whole lower body. Try to get up and over that hurdle as much as you can. Good. Go ahead and relax. Very nice. A few more warm up drills. This next one's going to involve having your arms straight out to the side. Thinking about having them being pulled and stretched out as far as you can. Good. And then we're going to come all the way back in, touch those shoulders. We're going to do a big roll, feel those shoulders work all the way up and around. Hold, big stretch out when we're doing this again. You want to straighten or stretch your arms as much as you can, like they're getting pulled to the side. 
good touch, do one big roll, follow it with another one. Good. One more time here. Stretch those arms out. And then all the way back in. One and two. Very nice. We'll finish up with just a nice gentle ankle roll here to get our ankles nice and loose. Use our ankles for stability when we balance. So it's good to have them warmed up and having those muscles firing a little bit before we move up to our standing position, of course. Very nice. Go ahead, stick that other foot out. Same exact thing. All the way around, nice and controlled here with those ankles. And relax. Very nice. Okay. We're going to move into a little bit of quickness with our feet. Um, so what we're going to do for a quickness drill is draw out an imaginary square with the toes of our feet. So you're just kind of visualizing a square down in front of you. Uh, you might even be able to find four dots actually kind of on the ground if you're lucky. Otherwise, use your imagination here. We're going nice and slow at first. As usual, when we do these, we're going to go quick in just a second. So let's go ahead and go quick. 10 seconds, as fast as you can. Move those feet now around that square as quickly as you can. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Take a breather. We're going to do the reverse side, so counterclockwise um, or clockwise in a second, depending on what you did. But before that, we're gonna work our core a little bit more. Go ahead and tip your arm up and over one side of your body as much as you can. If you can't get your arm up there, just try to lean, okay? Think about leaning so much that one of your cheeks is actually almost hanging off the chair. Go as far as you comfortably can, of course, but we're gonna hang tight here. The longer we can hang, the more strength we can get. So let's all take a breath in. Hang out in this nice, uncomfortable position. And repeat on the other side. We're there about 15, maybe 20 seconds. We'll see if we can hang the same time frame. Going as far as we can actively. Big, far reach. Try to get a little bit more. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Everyone take a breath. Make sure we're feeling okay. We're now gonna do the reverse movement of what we did earlier. So if you did clockwise for your square, we're gonna do counterclockwise and of course vice versa. Go slow at first, okay? Slow at first. And just like last time, let's crank up the speed for 10 fast seconds all the way around that chair as quickly as we can go. Nice and controlled, three, two and one very nice very nice take a breath in we're going to do two strength drills before moving up out of our seat this first one's going to work our arms this is called our chair pull up is what i like to call it at least grab below the chair and then we are pulling up on that chair actively pushing our body closer to the chair and doing that as hard as we can okay so i'm literally thinking about shrugging and pulling as hard as we can we're gonna hold for 10 seconds, okay? 10 strong seconds, grab below the chair, ready, set, go, pull up on that guy as hard as you can, feel those muscles working, most importantly, breathe, take a big breath. We got five, four, three, two, and one, relax. Big breath, big breath, everyone. Excellent job, we'll move to our lower body now. What we're gonna do is stick one foot out. The foot that is planted in the ground is gonna be our active foot that we're gonna be pushing through. So with that foot to the ground, think about driving your heel into the ground as hard as you can, almost like you're pushing yourself up out of the chair. 10 strong seconds, just like we did with that pull up. Ready, set, go. Drive that heel into the ground and breathe. Drive and breathe. Keep pushing, keep breathing, three, Two and one, relax, very nice. Same concept, other side, here we go. Three, two, one, drive that heel, push as hard as you can. The harder you push, the more strength you will build. 
and the more this time will not be wasted. Three more seconds and relax. 